I do see a couple down there, so. Can you see them in the water? No. There's one straight in front of me at about four or five feet deep. I only can see the end of the moss in front of me. That's the extent There's a couple of decent ones right there. That was a strange hook set. See my line going sideways. Rigged it wacky style, not the best. Uh, look at the bluegills in there now. There's some good ones. Good deal, little bass. First one out here, awesome fish. I know there's bigger ones. I'm gonna throw him back. Right there he goes. Awesome. He's gonna go back down there and tell his friends to stay away. What's going on guys? Today we're out here, we're gonna be doing some bluegill fishing. Already had luck, caught one bass on the uh, on the wacky rigged Strike King Senko, so pretty cool. We're gonna be using some power bait today. Crappie nibbles. Hopefully we catch a couple more on this. Tried these here before and they do work, so we're gonna give it another shot. I know there's quite a few bluegill in here. I don't think we caught any large ones last time, but today we're gonna to see if we can get any. Uh, hopefully we have some good luck today. There we go. Talk about a heck of a bluegill. Wow. That's a good sized gill. It's actually a really pretty bluegill. Nice bluegill, this is a good size. We're gonna throw him back. There are some good sized gills in here right off this ledge, right where these weeds end. They're all in there hanging out. There we go. Much smaller bluegill. Still a very cool fish. Get him back. Quick release. Fail. Just little bluegills today, but still very cool. Awesome, good release. Started with the bass this morning. Now we're just working with bluegill. I got a little bobber on here with a, I believe a number four hook at the bottom. No weights, just letting it kind of free line in there with the bobber. And the bluegills will come up and eat it. There we go. Another gill. Awesome. Still pretty small. They're fun to catch. We're just using little crappie nibbles right now. And they work good. There we go. Another little dinky guy. Got him though. He hit the bobber probably like six, seven times before I finally got him hooked. Smaller fish, but we'll take it. Awesome bluegill. There we go. This is a nice one. This is a real good fish. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Guess that's bass fishing. He was coming in, but I knew he was gonna turn right at the last second and pull hard. It's a grind out here today.
There we go. Decent hook set. Hopefully we can get him in. There we go. Holy cow. I have lost two before this guy back to back. Finally got one in. The hook I'm using is a little ridiculous, but it works. Finally got one. Awesome. There we go. Nice bass, probably 13 inches. Pretty cool. A little smaller than the, the bites I think I've been getting, but it's still good fish. And hopefully we can have some redemption and get that bigger one again, because I'd like to see if I can catch a little bit larger one before we head out. Bites are definitely few and far between, but when you get them, they're pretty good. There we go. It's a great hook set, but it's such a tiny fish. Dang. Maybe this is why they're not committing. I mean, I set the hook pretty hard and that still did not go through. I don't think they're fully committing to these worms. Good little bass though. Let's see if we can get another one. I've got such a giant hook on here. I don't have my little finesse hooks on because I'm trying to, you know, get these fish committed. There we go. Another smaller bass. Holy cow, did I hook this thing in the side? I'm not sure how this one happened. He's definitely had a better day. I am very sorry about this. I hope you live. Um. Yeah, my bad. It's a bad hook right there. Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to live, but we'll give him a shot at it, I guess. Looks like a little bit better fish. There we go. Yeah. Got him. Woo. Nice long one. Got him. He's on the move for that guy. He's trying to keep a lot of pressure on his lip. Make sure he didn't cut. He did not get off. Surprisingly, this is the first fish of the day that has really gotten that hook. So awesome there, empty style. Not the right size hook, but it's helping get the fish hooked and staying hooked. Great little fish. Probably a 15 inch bass. He's not, he's not huge. He's probably about a pound and a half, but he's got some good size to him. What the heck is going on? There's another one. Oh, this is a good fish. This is a good fish. This is a really good fish. He's pulling a little bit of drag. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, that's a two, three pounder. That's incredible. That is a stud fish. I don't know what happened. My drag was slipping or something, but I got him. Weird hook placement. That's probably my own fault there. Excellent bass. I'd say that's a two and a half pounder. Great fish. Incredible fight. You gotta love it. You come out here, you start bluegill fishing, you end up with one of these guys. Cool. Did you get him back? We would love to see this guy get to be a couple more pounds larger. Excellent fish. He just powers right through those weeds, no problem. Off he goes. It's kind of amazing how slow the bite can be and then all of a sudden you just cast in the right spot at the right time and 
You get a nice size greenback. There we go. Hooked up again, another decent fish. Getting a little more confident now. Hooks are finally starting to stay in their mouth. Might just been another spot in the pond. One spot to the other make a big difference, I guess. This is about a 14 inch bass. Very healthy fish. Water temperature starting to cool down now, so I think that's why the bites are getting a little slower and a little less aggressive. There we go. Seen a little thunk in my line, and I thought I had something. Oh man, get up here. There he is. Awesome. I think we're going to end the day with this guy. So I want to say thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it to all you guys. You know, feel free to hit that bell and get notifications. That way you know when I'm posting videos if you guys enjoy watching them. I really do appreciate it. Thanks, guys. And this one's for you. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace, y'all.